In this example, I need to factor completely 3x squared minus 2x minus 8. The first thing we do with every single factoring problem is look for a greatest common factor. Well, looking at our numbers, I have 3, 2, and 8. Therefore, they have no numerical common factor. The first term has an x squared. The next has an x. And the last term, the constant, has no x's. Therefore, they have no variable common factor. So this one has no common factors whatsoever. So we're going to factor this trinomial. And how do you factor a trinomial? You compare it to ax squared plus bx plus c. So a is the coefficient of the x squared term. In our case, it's 3. b is the coefficient of the x. It's negative 2. c is the constant term. It's negative 8. So we multiply a times c which is 3 times negative 8, which is negative 24. So I need two numbers that multiply to AC or negative 24 and add to B, which is negative 2. Since the two numbers I want multiply to a negative, that means they're opposite in sign. And since they add to a negative, the one with the bigger absolute value has to be the negative number. So I am going to start with 1 and negative 24. They definitely multiply to negative 24. 1 added to a negative 24 is negative 23, which is definitely not the number I want but at least I have my B term here being negative. So I picked the right one to be the negative number. So now does two divide into 24? Yes, so it's gonna be two times negative 12 that multiplies to negative 24. But when I add two to negative 12, I get negative 10, not what I'm looking for. Does three divide into 24? Yes, I'm gonna get three times negative eight is negative 24 and 3 plus a negative 8 is a negative 5. Getting closer, does 4 divide into 24? Yes, so I'm going to get 4 times negative 6 is negative 24 and 4 plus a negative 6 is a negative 2. Eureka, I found the number I'm looking for. But remember, these are not my factors. This is what I'm going to rewrite my middle term as. So instead of negative 2x, I'm going to have 4x minus 6x. So I'm rewriting my problem up here. I have 3x squared. And instead of negative 2x, I'm going to have plus 4x minus 6x minus 8. Because 4x minus 6x equals negative 2x. The reason we do this is now we have four terms. How do we factor four terms? We group the first two and the last two. What do the first two have in common? I think the only thing they have in common is an x. I pull an x out of 3x squared. It's going to leave 3x. Pull an x out of a plus 4x. It's going to leave plus 4. Now in factoring by grouping, you always bring down the middle sign. What do the last two have in common? I think the only thing I can pull out of those is a 2, but remember I'm factoring a negative 2 out. So if I factor a negative 2 out of a negative 6x, it's going to leave me with positive 3x. And you factor a negative 2 out of a negative 8, it's going to leave a positive 4. This one is the one the students mess up on the most, so double check. Negative 2 times 3x is negative 6x. Negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. It worked. Now, this binomial is the same as this one. It's my common binomial factor, so I'm going to pull 3x plus 4 in front. And what does it leave behind? In my second binomial, it leaves me with x minus 2. So I've now factored my trinomial into the quantity 3x plus 4 times the quantity x minus 2. Don't forget, if you want to check this problem, 
foil this out to see if you'll end up where you started.